All right, good day, hi, and welcome. All right, so the washout. Okay, now I know the last time I went out, that road was really bumpy and it got really, really noisy. Ooh, that's a weird effect. Look, oh, there we go. <laughs> Getting all kinds of prisms off here. It's like this. It's like the sun's not even on my side of the foot. <laughs> What's going on? All righty, so uh, get out of here. Oh yeah, Just make sure I got it. Right. All right, so uh, Tuesday. It was cold this morning. Like now, and now it's like 23 for the afternoon. So uh, bizarre, bizarre weather. All right, I can't show you my major project yet. Uh, it's not done yet, anyway. But it's looking good. And. Uh, what the heck is going on with my camera here? Dang it. Okay, yeah, so it's just, I guess the way the light's setting it. I don't know what's reflecting off of it. It's like, yeah, very, very bizarre. I guess I should keep my eyes on the road. It's just a lane away, but a lot of trees around here, so. Yeah, so. Man, I, I, I'm just curious. I'm hoping that. Go it up, maybe something on my camera. Never try that. That's probably what it was. Yeah, it was something on the camera. That's what it was. I think. So hopefully it's not the, the microphones aren't too vibrating. Because I noticed last time coming out this road here, uh, uh, it sounds like I'm doing. Uh, sounds like I'm doing one of those because uh, the road's so rough. Uh, okay, so. Today's video get me to my next job. I got another one I gotta upload to and I haven't uploaded. <laughs> Most places in the world people drive on the road. In Quebec we drive on what's left. Ooh. That's bumpy. I was like it was just taken out by land that mean was like taken out by Lancaster bomber. Alright, so anyway, uh okay, so the upsell. The communication with your clients. Uh the um, trees all over the road. Yeah. I always love watching co cottagers use a chainsaw. None of them know how to use a chainsaw. It's like, how do you, how, how haven't you cut your leg off yet? <laughs> I mean, I don't want that. I'm just, I'm just saying that it's, it's, you know, they, uh, using the very, very tip of the blade. I'm like, what, what are you doing? You know, like, what's, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that. You know, I hunched over the wrong way. It's like, yeah, I know who's going to be hurting tomorrow. Using a chainsaw the right way hurts you. If I go out of if I go out of frame, I apologize. So anyway, the upsell. Um, one thing about working for myself, I mean, I'm just getting back into it. Well, I've been working for myself now for over ten years, right? And I've worked for a lot of people. I usually. It's kind of like, uh, if you ever, <laughs> dating myself here, have you ever seen the show The Little Littlest Hobo? I'm like that, but with clients. Uh, I bring joy into their life to get everything done, and when, I, when I'm done, I go out to somebody else and bring joy in their life and, and build all kinds of stuff for them and fix everything, and I do all that kind of stuff, right? And uh, I like that kind of work. It's honest work. It's hard work, but it's honest work, you know? Uh, and the thing is, is that success, if you want to be successful with your client, it doesn't matter what business genre you're in uh if you, you communication is the big thing now the thing i hate doing is pestering my clients that oh can you come and look at this before i do something or whatever but i know in the long run uh it takes at first they're kind of uh they're, well not these people these people are really 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 good but at first they're like why is this guy i pay him to do the work why does he keep bugging me but then when you get them involved in the project that they want you to do a lot of times, like, they're like, okay, I just need you to build something over there. But they're not seeing the bigger picture of what they're going to have to live with. It's just like, build it. I don't care how you build it, just build it. 
okay, yeah, but when I build this, I could build this any way you want. It's a blank canvas, right? And uh, right now, this uh, little trellis thing is turning into a, I mean, it's a, a terrace trellis, whatever, garden entrance. <laughs> it, it's turning into a bit of a project, which I thought it was. Uh, I should be finished either, well, here's the thing. The structure, if I would have worked at it like an eight hour day, I worked four hours, not eight hours. So, anybody out here? Uh, if I was working out at eight hours, probably I'd say at least I probably would put about twenty hours on this thing. Believe it or not, uh, something so simple, but yet, yeah, you could build it in a day, but man, it's going to look horrible. And this structure is going to be standing there in their line of sight for the next twenty-five to thirty years. And the last thing I want them to do is be cursing it every day for the next twenty-five to thirty years, because. When you do that, right, here, what do you think is more likely to happen? That they're going to tell everybody how much you pestered them to come and look at it every, and just, you know, like, mock it up for them, say, do you like this better, or do you like that better? Uh, they can tell, oh, this guy was such a pain in the ass, it was like, uh, every five minutes he's bugging us to look at something. Maybe not every five minutes, but you get the idea, right? Perver hyperbole. Uh, perver but anyway, you know what I mean? Fancy words. Fancy words. Um, so... That said, um, that or do you think they're going to sit there when it's got the golden ratio and it looks beautifully built and symmetrical and you know, like, cause I'm explaining stuff to them why I got to do it this way or this way or this way. So when you see it from this angle or this angle, there's going to be, it's like a supermodel. A supermodel has a good side to take the photos on and a not so good side. Even if the overall model was beautiful. There's one side that's just going to be a little bit more camera friendly, and that's every human being. Well, it's kind of the same with these things, where you're going to have one side, because nothing can be perfectly symmetrical 100%, no matter how much you do it, that you're going to have to give a trade-off. Do you want the railing a little higher here for the to run the line so when you see it from back there, it doesn't look like ass? Or do you want it really nice from the side? You know, where, where's going to be dominantly? Now, for them, they have a weird angle that they're going to be looking at it on, like a 45-degree angle all the time. So this thing's got to look like that optical illusion with a rectangular box, right? And the thing about that is um, when they're looking at it, if it's not symmetrical, the difference between the golden ratio and the eyesore comes out. So what is an eyesore? This is important. This is why you got to communicate. Is if we go with the golden ratio, everything is symmetrical, everything, your eyes follow the line, there's no straining to your eyes, nothing is out. Ah! I just murdered a branch. I think he was already dead, but still. I think he's stuck in my grill now, probably. I don't see it on the road. I hope it's not stuck in my grill. Where's all these freaking branches coming from? There's branches on the road. Anyway, sorry. Um, so, when it's the golden ratio, your eyes don't strain to look at something. Nothing's out. But when one thing is out, and even even the, his wife, like, because I just mocked it up and whatever, I said, oh, well, the lower end really stands out. It, it's not high enough. I said, oh, I said, it's not level yet. It's just to give me a kind of frame of reference. So I went and I, you know, leveled it out for them and, uh, you know, mocked it up or whatever. Just the two railings or whatever. And the thing about it is, as soon as I did that, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's... But the point was made that when you rush things, okay, and it's not symmetrical, you create an eyesore. Meaning everything else is square, but you got one railing that's a little up or down or, you know, out of, out of alignment. And that will draw your eyes away from the bigger thing while your eyes are trying to strain to everything else that's in line, i.e. you've created an, an eyesore because your eyes get sore trying to look at things that are not parallel, that they're not symmetrical, they're not, you know, they're not in line with each other. So this is what you have to communicate. And a lot of times, no matter what you say, like they don't understand what you're trying to get at until you show them, right? And some things you just can't mock up. You just gotta kind of hope that you can be as descriptive as possible um, so that they, they kind of get what you're after and all that. And uh, hopefully that they enjoy it, right? And, and you know, whatever. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, when you can mock it up and they could see it, 
they can understand now what you're saying that if we go a little bit lower a little bit higher this is going to be off or that's going to be off or you know can you now see what i you know the symmetricalness of how it, you know is the balanced ratio there that you want and when you when you get that that's when you get a happy client then it doesn't matter that you took a little extra time to build it it doesn't matter that you took a little extra time to uh what i call work the upsell uh we could do this sure but we could also add that and one thing i i plant the seed i planted in their heads i said for the next couple of days it's not going to be finished overnight just keep staring at it vision how you, what the dressing is on it you know like, again getting back to our supermodel so if we have our supermodel butt naked i mean it's a pretty good view no matter what you're pretty happy there but what, what, what are we going to do to make her flashy what are we going to do to make her sexy what are, what's she going to wear you know what are we trying to what, what theme are we going to go with right well that's kind of what you're doing with these things is you're trying to set up a situation so that you know are you going to go for like this kind of a, a theme that kind of theme and the littlest detail sets all the difference in the world on a lot of this stuff so you really want to mock it up now i've already kind of got the theme for them uh described of you know like uh, and i'll show you when it's done i'm, I'm going to take pictures of it so i like always taking pictures of my projects like this because it, it's the upsell for me because here's what's going to happen in, in three two one bombs away sorry i buzzed my friend um the uh well, what's going to happen is their neighbors are going to come over their relatives whatever and people are going to look at it and they don't know this is going to happen to them yet because it's going to be aesthetically pleasing to them they're going to like it but what they're going to really get off on is when the people go oh my god that's amazing who did that that oh that i love what they did there wow we just did that now wish we would have done that instead oh wow this and blah 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 and this guy wow it's like well how did he do this oh wow he's talented blah blah, blah. and that they're, they're not ready for that yet because i haven't told them that's going to happen to them that's why i really want to get this right but i want them to experience so when they come back and say reg oh geez you wouldn't believe the comments are getting on that now i'll just snicker and i'll say that's why i do the you know the golden ratio you know that's why i buck so much you know because you know you're gonna like again you pay a little more you get a little more you don't want to screw anybody over but and, and like the one thing you tell them is that there's a process and it's going to look like I'm doing nothing, just running back and forth, setting things up, taking it down, set it up again, take it down, set it up again. And you're going to do this a million times. And that's just kind of the, the process of it, right? Because it's just the way it works. And, uh, oh, there's my brother. Hang on. I got to wait till he goes by. Because my brother's going to get me. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh, jeez probably just scared uh, everybody in the store but anyway as i was saying um the uh there's a process to it so you have to explain a bit of the process and and always be say like you're, you know like it's it's a tedious thing uh i gotta run back and forth i gotta do this i gotta do that and uh, just kind of let them know that that's what's going on uh and then it's kind of like the like it's like it takes forever to set everything up and then also bang 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 it's all together you know it, it's kind of like that and so don't be afraid to uh, show not over and don't oversell it because they just you know always make it sound like it's their idea like always give them the option etc cetera, etc cetera. like for example my brother turn your shirt off turn your shirt off sir <laughs> never never <laughs> lovely out eh 